everyone now. Everyone. But Hello and welcome back. I'm Maria Yaresa. This is Rapplers. We're going to take apart what just happened with us. From uh, the University of the Philippines, Mass College of Mass Communications, <laughs> Professor Clarissa David. Please, your reaction. This was a very interesting round. Interesting is an understatement. It, it is uh -huh. fascinating. It is fun. It is enjoyable, if it's the kind of thing you enjoy. It's completely no holds barred. And, <laughs> and uh, Alan Cayetano is just out there swinging his fists. There's no... Uh, gloves are off for everyone. Uh, the opening statements were generally strong, and I think one of the things that I like so far in the debate is there's a lot of issues on the table. Yes. It sounds a lot more technical. Mm -hmm. The responses on corruption sound a lot more technical than what we heard in the presidential debates. I think the vice presidential candidates feel like they have more room to be more technical and less populist. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of this is going to be. I hope the other candidates who have not been implicated in the response We'll have a chance to talk a little bit more. Marita Svitug, a Rappler's editor at large, your reaction? Yes, Alan was a rabble rouser. Maybe we need that kind of uh, a, um, candidate in this debate of six uh, uh, people. Uh, however, however uh, Alan was selective when he said that only three of them risked their lives for, to fight corruption. In fact, Gringo, Trilla, he mentioned Gringo, Trillanes, and himself. But uh, later we found out that, Trilla, that Gringo was implicated in PDAF, corruption of use of public funds for right. personal gain. So anyway, uh, and also we saw that uh, Gringo had very all-encompassing uh, um, um, narrative. He mentioned security. There's no lack, mm -hmm. lack mm -hmm. focus. Also, same with, I think Marcos failed to define himself in the beginning. So that's why um, it was easy for the others to, for Alan rather, to uh, take control, yes, right? Yes. He actually mm -hmm. took control. You're right. I think it's not an understatement to say that this is more exciting than the two previous presidential debates. I don't know if it's the crowd and you know whether they're heckling or cheering for uh, these candidates. Uh, we, we can't decipher from here, but but it's exciting what's happening there. But more importantly, I think what we, I have personally noticed is that motherhood statements cannot just get away. You know, They can't get away with, with uh, motherhood statements this time around. I think they've learned their lessons very well from the previous uh, presidential debates. And so kudos to Cayetano, for example, or even to Lenny Robredo, right, yes, for spelling yes. out exactly what she has done. I think this is what debates are supposed to do, to expose um, uh, people their opponents you know um, how they are um, you know uh, emperors walking without clothes yes. so to speak and um, to for, for people to learn what they have done or have been, have been doing uh, whether as congresswomen or as senators is there a winner in this round for uh -huh. you well the winner for setting <laughs> the tone for the debate yes. is Alan Cayetano Definitely. because I think this is we're right out of the gates there's still a lot of questions to be asked so the fact that he started off with direct attacks means the rest of this debate can have even more direct attacks. And being uh, an active part of this first portion of the debate, which is about corruption, shows that the people who were silent in that section didn't have to defend themselves, That's like true. Robredo That's was true. not singled out. Uh, so it's interesting, to see, it'll be interesting to see with the next issues what's gonna happen. Did you agree, Maritas? Well, uh, Honasan failed to defend himself. He had the forum. Uh, he failed to defend himself when Alan Peter asked him, was it Alan Peter or somebody else, Ask him about Alan his uh, PDAF corruption. He instead blamed the irresponsible media. Is that us? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of explaining. <laughs> anyway, that's another issue for yes. another debate. That's <laughs> true. That's true. Well, well, Marcos had to defend himself to get right. helped. Uh, I thought it was payback time for people who were <laughs> against uh, Marcos, and and I could imagine, you know, if I were there, maybe I would be, uh, you know, sensing the, you know, the, the, the vengefulness of, of people who were really demanding something from the Marcos. I just wonder what the impact will be on on um, Alan Peter Cayetano mm. because people don't like exactly. uh, you being too competitive or I, but I don't know in this context uh, it's a debate rather than um, 
ad, a paid ad. True. So we'll see how it will turn out. True, true. Th this didn't seem like a Filipino debate, at least the, yeah, the traditional yes. one. Yes. Right? Yes. So yes. with what Marita said, what do you think the impact would be true. from from communications and then true. from sociologist yes. perspective? Yes. Uh, yes. What's the impact on Alan Peter for being so gung out there? Yeah. I'm going to hazard a guess, and it's a guess, sure. uh, that it will actually help him because mm -hmm. he, he is able to be more aggressive because mm -hmm. he's not among the top ones. Mm -hmm. So he, has a, he doesn't have a lot to lose mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. sense. So mm -hmm. what he wants is to be really sure. aggressive. We are sure. back. Yes. So we're going back. Okay. Um, stay tuned. We're going to come right back to the debate now. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Jay, you'll come back to you. Sure.